Hey, this is Kyle with Convert Kits. Have you ever started designing a landing page and then realized that you may not need that image in the background, but at the same time, without that image, it doesn't really look the way it should. So what do you do? Maybe there's not a specific image you could use that looks the way you want it to for this particular page, but having a solid color just doesn't feel right either. Well, a great solution to that is using some kind of pattern, maybe a really subtle background pattern or something like that. And a great place to get those background patterns is Hero Patterns. Hero Patterns has a collection of repeatable SVG background patterns that you can use for web projects. While the Hero Patterns website is honestly super easy to use, we actually have a direct integration to Hero Patterns inside of ConvertKit. So you can add patterns to your landing pages quickly and easily and make them look fantastic pretty quickly. I'm going to show you how to use that in ConvertKit, so let's dive into a page that I've already started designing. So here's this landing page. As you can see, the background, it just doesn't work being a solid color. There's got to be something else going on, but in this case, as an author, I want to have this nice, subtle background. I don't necessarily want to have an image back there. I just want it to look nice and pleasing. So over on the right side of the landing page editor, if you go to styles, which is this magic wand icon, inside of the styles area, there's an option for a background. And you could choose a certain background color, or you can add an image. So if you go here, you could just add an image from your computer. You could add something from Unsplash, or there's this other option here to add hero patterns. Once you're in hero patterns, you'll see the background color that was there for that section, but there's also this foreground color. So I'm gonna add something in here. Let's say this color here. And now you can see there's all these patterns and you can change the opacity of those patterns. I have this set pretty low because I want this to be really subtle and just kind of nicely blend into the background. There's a lot of different patterns to choose from and you can choose any of these you want to. So I'm gonna pick this one here as my background. And again, you can change that opacity so you can make it even more subtle and use that the way you want it to. If you decide this pattern doesn't necessarily look the way you want it to, you can always go back to that background area, click on the image again, and now you see the same customize your pattern interface that you saw before. It tells you what your current pattern is here at the top left. And you can also scroll through and maybe find something else that works a lot better for the page you're working on. What's great is that you can also change the opacity down here where the background image is and make that, you know, fine tune it for that page that you're working on. You can also change the background color if you want to. So if you decide, well, actually, this should be much lighter and a little bit different, you can make those subtle changes here in the background interface. So that's a quick look at how you can easily add patterns to your landing pages. I know that seemed really short, but it's because it's so easy to do. Rather than creating a new pattern, exporting it, trying to repeat it across the page and all of those things, this integration makes it super quick and easy. And I hope you use this in some of your landing pages. Earlier in the video, I included some landing pages for inspiration, and hopefully you can take a look at those as well and just kind of see how those patterns could work for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.